This program is brought to you by Emory University. My freshman seminar on mathematics and sports games and gambling is uh, designed to be very much an applications-oriented course. Now, one of the things you hear most from students is that they don't see how to apply mathematics any place. My goal is to try to show them nothing but things they might become interested in, sports, games, gambling, and show them the mathematics that can be involved in all these things. We'll start with the suits in order, ace, king, queen, jack, ten, spades, hearts, clubs, diamonds. Then we'll pile them one on top of another. And now I want you to cut the deck. Okay, put that on top. Now, just to make you feel even better, cut it again. And if you really don't trust me, <laughs> cut it a third time. All right. Thin to win, as my daddy likes to say. There we go. Feel satisfied now? They're in different order? I like threes. Okay. So. Yeah, they're in a different order now. Yeah. All the aces are together, all the kings, queens, jacks, and tens. And before it was all like the spades and... Mm -hmm. So the big question is, why'd that happen? Oh, I was going to say, how would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we started with all of the suits grouped together. Right. And I piled them one on top of another. Right. And I asked you to cut. So let's think about what the cut does. The cut simply takes the top pile and puts it on the bottom right. in exactly the order it was in before. So all we've really done is permute the original pile. The ordering right, of, is, the exact is exactly the same. So when we start to turn things over, Right. The aces were all equally spaced before, the queen right. kings were all equally spaced before, but they still are, as you can see. The cut doesn't hurt anything. It, okay. just, it just rotates when something comes up. Right. The second cut doesn't do anything else. <laughs> it takes that permutation and permutes it again, but they're still all equally spaced. Some people worry that this is actually maybe promoting gambling in the student's eyes, but many times the reaction I get is just the opposite. They see mathematically how big a disadvantage it is to gamble in casinos, and suddenly they tell me that they're never going to do it. I would like to see the students develop a, a more consistent mathematical approach to thinking through problems a more logical approach, a more questioning approach. And I hope they have a good time. Right, so okay. look at third card from the top. You look at it, but don't show me. That's the one you're going to spell out. So put it, put it All down. Right. All right, now I'm covering up my eyes. You spell it out. Speak to me. What was the card? It must have been the Four of Diamonds. How'd you know? That's the magic of the card. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, again, mathematics is at the root of all of this. So let's go back to the start and just sort of analyze what happened. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.